we've spent years advocating for the merger with Sprint. With a $40 billion investment in network well underway, we now cover 287 million people with 5G. And our ultra-capacity 5G has been rapidly expanding to cover 200 million people by the end of this year. We are now building 5G for all. And that means everyone, from big cities to small towns. What's wrong with being confident? We're taking our 5G network to a level that others simply can't follow. T-Mobile is now America's 5G leader, the fastest, biggest, and most available 5G network in America. Hello, and thank you for having me here today. It's great to join our partners at Nokia and share with you an update on our network journey and the progress we're making here in the US. T-Mobile and Nokia are building on more than two decades of partnership with a long history of shared innovation. Together, we have deployed every major generation of wireless technology. Yet there has never been a more exciting time as we accelerate into this 5G era. The past year made it more clear than ever how critical connectivity is to nearly every aspect of our lives. And the innovation that 5G brings is remarkable. From gigabit speeds and ultra-fast response times to true mobile broadband coverage that spans the US and serves all Americans. Today, we're seeing T-Mobile 5G begin to power everything from connected cars to connected farms, deliver immersive new experiences to consumers and transform the enterprise. Our mission here at T-Mobile is to be the best at connecting customers to their world. And we'll get there by building the best 5G network in the US with a $40 billion investment into network and services that is well underway. I'm excited to share with you today how we're aggressively delivering on this goal, driving the pace of 5G innovation and bringing real and meaningful competition to the market. As many of you know, we spent many months advocating for our merger with Sprint because we believed from the beginning in a multi-band 5G spectrum strategy. And it's now clear this is where everyone is going in the US. While others began with huge bets on millimeter wave as their 5G foundation, we started in a completely different place, building our 5G network with a foundational layer of low band spectrum, providing broad connectivity and coverage. We built our extended range 5G network using fresh 600 megahertz spectrum. And now we're piling on a deep layer of ultra capacity 5G using 2.5 gigahertz mid-band spectrum, topped with millimeter wave where it makes sense. Our 5G network uses free and clear spectrum without a dependency on dynamic spectrum sharing that forces the sharing of low and mid-band resources between 4G and 5G. Now with the recent completion of the C-band auction here in the US, our leading position is even stronger with the acquisition of 40 megahertz of C-band in major urban and suburban areas that are home to nearly 225 million people. We strategically invested in C-band to supplement our much broader 2.5 gigahertz footprint in areas where we already have a dense network. This allows us to deploy the spectrum where needed and provide a more meaningful performance boost for our customers. Despite the record-breaking amount of money spent by our competitors in the auction, in excess of $80 billion, T-Mobile continues to hold the most mid-band spectrum in the US, putting us in a leading position for the duration of the 5G era. Mid-band spectrum is clearly the global sweet spot for 5G. It's what drives mobility and consumer and business experiences alike. And it's how we're building a powerhouse 5G network that can serve all Americans. Following our merger with Sprint, the teams hit the ground running hard, putting our multi-layer spectrum portfolio to work across approximately 85,000 macro sites, complemented by approximately 50,000 small cells to create the densest, broadest network in the country. Today, our build is running at an unprecedented pace with nearly 1,000 radio upgrades underway every week, a process that we worked for the last two years to develop and execute with partners such as Nokia.
This vision and speed of execution has culminated in T-Mobile now offering America's largest, fastest, and most available 5G network. Today, we cover 287 million people across 1.6 million square miles with extended range 5G, available in all 50 states and Puerto Rico, delivering average speeds that are twice as fast as LTE. By the end of next year, we expect our extended range 5G service to cover 97% of Americans, making us the only carrier on track to bring 5G to virtually every corner of the country, with Nokia playing a major role in making this ambition a reality. In addition, we are aggressively deploying ultra-capacity 5G, providing speeds that are 7.5 times faster than LTE, with average speeds around 300 megabits per second, and peak speeds that can top 1 gigabit per second. Today, ultra-capacity 5G covers 125 million people, and we're on our way to reaching 200 million people by the end of this year, and nearly 90% of all Americans by the end of 2023. We are the only US operator to have deployed dedicated low-band and mid-band spectrum for 5G. And the most recent independent data from OpenSignal, based on billions of handset measurements from real customers, shows that T-Mobile now offers the fastest 5G download speeds, fastest 5G upload speeds, and a 5G signal more often than anyone else. These game-changing 5G speeds we see today are generated utilizing just 60 megahertz out of our average nationwide holdings of 160 megahertz of 2.5 gig spectrum. With our new five-year, multi-billion dollar agreement with Nokia, we are pushing the pace of 5G innovation to roll out some of the most advanced technologies in wireless. Together, we've developed higher bandwidth radios to deploy 80 to 100 megahertz channels over the course of this year delivering an anticipated 400 megabit per second speed with even higher speeds to come as we increase beyond 100 megahertz. With the asymmetric nature of TDD, we can dynamically allocate 80% of our capacity to downlink, which can provide a tremendous level of capacity and speed that isn't possible today in FDD midband. In addition, we are working to leverage 5G carrier aggregation for better utilization of our spectrum extending the range of mid-band by pairing it with 600 megahertz uplink, enabling ultra-fast spectrum to go ultra-far. Furthermore, Nokia's massive MIMO 64x64 integrated radio and antenna is also increasing our 5G capacity and driving better cell edge performance. We're also working with Nokia to develop Vonar, or voice over new radio which has the benefit of moving to an all 5G architecture with no dependence on the legacy LTE network, allowing us to bring even faster and richer 5G experiences to our customers. These assets, coupled with the scale of our 5G network, means T-Mobile can now go even bigger after new opportunities. It also means we can disrupt the status quo for millions of people living in rural America who for decades have dealt with subpar internet access. Today, more than 60 million Americans live in small towns. But at a time when fast, reliable internet service is critical, more than a quarter of our rural neighbors have no way to get high-speed internet at their home or for their business. And nearly 40% of rural Americans who do have broadband live in areas with only one provider. At T-Mobile, we have dreamed of bringing choice to rural communities for years, but we didn't have the scale or the spectrum to offer coverage in small towns. Now, with the spectrum and scale from our merger with Sprint, we can bring real choice to rural America. T-Mobile Home Internet, powered by the largest and fastest 5G network in the US, is now available to 30 million households, with service for almost a quarter of all homes in America that makes T-Mobile the country's fourth largest internet service provider in terms of coverage. Our home internet customers get a state-of-the-art 5G gateway from Nokia. And the best part for T-Mobile customers, it's free, with no installation or equipment fees. And when we look at the enterprise space, more than 80% of businesses say their employees will continue to work from home at least part-time 
after the pandemic. To address this shift, we recently launched a powerful trio of solutions that enable businesses and their employees to work from anywhere on our 5G network. Our new home office internet product, which leverages our network to offer a dedicated home connection for remote workers, covers more than 60 million households. That's close to half of all homes in America. And we aim to cover more than 90 million households by 2025. As we look ahead at 5G, we see even more opportunity to unleash connectivity in ways we haven't been able to with prior generations of technology. Last year in August, we reached a massive milestone, being first in the world to launch a nationwide standalone 5G network. It allowed us to unleash our entire extended range 600 megahertz footprint for 5G with a new core that eliminated the need for an LTE anchor. This enabled 600 megahertz 5G to go to the full distance, up to hundreds of square miles from just one single tower, with even deeper in-building coverage than before. Standalone 5G is critical to what we call 5G for all. Our effort to bring 5G to everyone in big cities and small towns across America. With a standalone architecture, there is an immediate coverage benefit, and it is the platform that will unlock new applications using advanced capabilities, such as edge compute and network slicing. We see connected autonomous vehicles, supercharged IoT and smart factories, mobile applications using mixed reality, and so much more that can be built on this foundation. Amazing new products and services are quickly being built, and they require a 5G network with capacity and broad reach. We are rolling out a network that supports all use cases for 5G, not just use cases in airports, stadiums, and big cities, but use cases that drive powerful transformation across America. We have a number of initiatives at T-Mobile to fuel this innovation and drive development. Last year, T-Mobile co-founded the 5G Open Innovation Lab here in Seattle with powerful partners such as Intel, NASA, Microsoft, Dell, and many others. We also continue to run our highly successful T-Mobile Accelerator program, which recently expanded in collaboration with Georgia Tech. In addition, T-Mobile Ventures, a multi-million dollar, multi-year fund, is investing in early and growth stage companies, developing applications for the T-Mobile 5G network. These are fantastic programs that give entrepreneurs and developers direct access to T-Mobile engineers and business leaders to help them develop, test, and bring to market new 5G products and services. This past year, we've seen some incredible work, looking at new ways to communicate across a distributed workforce, train frontline workers with AR and VR platforms, apply robotics and AI to agriculture, and consume and share information using wearables that make our screen the world around us, plus so much more. This past seven years, we've shaken up the US wireless industry, and we forced others to change for the better. With the talented teams and resources from Sprint and strong collaboration with industry leaders such as Nokia, we are now building a supercharged 5G network that is first in coverage, first in speed, and will reach all Americans. With 5G, the possibilities are endless, and we can't wait to see the breakthrough innovations that will be built upon a real and meaningful 5G network that spans across the US and lifts up all of our communities. Thank you for the time today.